Hello everybody, John Neal here, sign writer. Here's another sign writing video for you. However, I know on this channel I've done one or two other videos recently, but I thought we'd get back to a sign writing one. As you can see, the weather's a bit poor. It's raining, the sun's occasionally coming out, but it's England. Actually, in this place in England, uh, in the 19th century, we had a famous novelist called George Eliot and uh, she was world renowned. I say she because her real name was Mary Ann Evans. They used a, a man's name in those times uh, for some credibility, as was the Times. Anyway, so we uh, have used the name George Eliot a lot in the air, local area, the hospitals and schools and so on, and also Mary Ann Evans. And that's the name of a hospice nearby. And we're going to do a charity concert on Saturday my friends and I from the Fox Acoustic and we are going to have a concert and we'll need a board for the back so when people take photographs they know what the occasion really was so let's go oh by the way I forgot to say where we were in, Nane in England and it's Nuneaton of course just north of Coventry right first things first uh, put on my magic cloak from which I get all my mystical powers and then let's have a think of the overall layout right Ooh, here we go well I am going to put a border all the way around and then just simply Mary Ann Evans so I have a think about Mary Ann Evans hospice I might put Nanita on um, charity concert and I feel that's going to be a little bit more loose Mary Ann Evans a little tighter, more formal, and then I'll put the date I think as well, June 2012. Uh, before I go much further let me just cover a few technical points and other links. Uh, the board I'm using is just a regular piece of MDF type board which I paint black and I don't use a blackboard paint as such, I've got a smooth masonry paint which is very good, it's water based and you get quite a lot for your money and I apply that with a roller and usually a couple of coats at least but uh, I find that's a very good combination and the pens that I'm using today are Zig Posterman pens you see that and uh, they're made by Kuretake there's the details and you, one of the best supplies I find is um, BHMA and if you put John Neal in, you get a little discount. Wow. And of course, uh, you can also go to my website proper for some more details of all these things. You can even buy a long version of a video demonstrating sign writing. I've got two of them on sale, $10 a piece. Whew. Okay, let's get on with it. <coughs> First of order. Now these are capital letters and you'll see it's a whole arm movement taking place because they're quite large. I don't use my wrist really, it's the movement comes from the shoulder. And I'm doing thicks and thins. So here we have A, that's thin, this thigh's six, that's a double stroke on there. Now these are larger letters, so I'm choosing to make the down strokes, this one, they're three strokes thick. So hospice, the S, be careful as you go round. Three strokes, and the thin strokes are just one. For the words charity concert, I'm going to use a brush. And some yellow ink, which I've squirted onto the tabletop there. The brushes are from uh, Rosemary & Co, just look them up on the internet, uh, Shiraz Long Flats they're called, not long handle, short handle, but um, long flats, they're very good, like them. Right, let's get plenty of uh, ink on the brush, Charity Concert, Charity Concert. <coughs> Thank you. 
shape, well I can't really get it all under here, so I'm going to put it just to one side and I think that'll be fine. I'm going to use um, a small pen and go back to white again and do it in this style. That's the bare bones of the sign done. I now need to see how much I want to elaborate on this. So this white, you can see the edges are a little bit ropey. That's okay. Just put a, a rule across. Take a very sharp line across the bottom and top. I'm going to put a shadow around Mary Ann Evans Hospice. And I've used yellow, so if I went blue it would be a bit jarry so <clears throat> I'm going to stick with I was thinking first of all of maybe orange or red then I remembered yeah, a little bit more formal nice to do this I'm going to use brown and I'm using um, a number two brush long flat Shiraz brown I'll use the two because it, there are some very narrow sections here some extra white on here. This is really almost a grey. So if I put some more white on, now I've previously put light from the top. It's always a winner. I think you might put it in the middle. Let's do that. So across the middle here, I'm going to put a white. There we are. All done. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that useful and if you'd like to comment, uh, I'd be more than happy to see what you have to say and show me any work that you've done. Uh, would it be too tacky to repeat I've got a website with the video on that you can buy? Ah, well, I've done it now. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>